Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Sam, it's lovely to meet you. If you're not new around here, welcome back. If you haven't already guessed by today's thumbnail, we are going to be playing with the new Nomad palette. This is the Ghost Town USA, so let's dive into it. As I said, I love eyeshadow palettes. I have a big, big collection. I love indie brand eyeshadow palettes and I love nomad cosmetics i love everything that they're about everything that they represent all of their eyeshadow a few have been hit and miss but i will always always support the brand because i just feel like they are amazing new to nomad their palettes are destination based so they will travel to there have a little bit of a feel and then they'll base their eyeshadow palette on what they think it represents the destination to be of this eyeshadow palette was the American Frontier. Its coordinates were Haunting Towns and Abandoned Mines. And the inspiration was There's Ghosts in Them Hills. I didn't get any of the clues that they put down on Instagram. I couldn't guess anything that they did. I never can, to be quite honest, but I love joining in and seeing everybody else's guesses. So yeah, let's just dive in and open the palette. Um, some of their proceedings as well will also go to a charity that is based around the destination, which I just think is amazing. Yes, we are filming with a toddler. I do apologise if you can hear her. Unfortunately, I can't gag her because I feel like that's frowned upon. But to say as well, it always comes with a little postcard. The first 100 people that purchased the palette this time got a little bit of a, um, what is it called? Like a scratch card, not a little bit of scratch. They actually got a scratch card. Um, so let's, let's scratch it off. I have no idea what you could possibly win. Um, I never win. So let, let's do that together. Let's have a look. So it's just pan for gold. I'm just going to get my key. And I'm just going to scratch it off. Like I say, I have no idea what you can even win. I should, probably should have done this with a coin really, shouldn't I? Can you tell I'm not a gambler? Because I have absolutely no idea what I am doing. Okay, let's just, let's just keep scratching. I got, I, I don't know if everybody got this, but I got 15% um, off with my next order and I got a code. So that was super cute and it's just something different. Uh, now Santa's not in here, she has stolen the keys. Let's dive into the palette, guys. Look at this. If you bought their Haunted Europe palette, it had the same like design, this kind of like, what is that? What is that when it moves? Oh, uh, I can't it. Oh, so we, we don't know. Uh, but yeah, it had the same sort of design anyway, and this is the inside. I was crying and screaming for a cool toned neutral palette and this 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 does disappoint. This is stunning, like absolutely stunning. The shimmers just look extra extra sparkly. I feel like they've done a new shimmer formula. I've watched a couple of reviews on this um, and I think they said that their shimmer formula is different this time so that's exciting. I love the whole layout. I, I love how they lay all of their palettes out. I, I, I just love it. You've got greens, you've got some blues, you've got some browns. Honestly, the sparkle in those shimmers. I really hope the camera is picking up those sparkles. Can you? Oh my god, honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. Let's dive in, let's swatch the palette, and then let's do a look together. I thought I was filming and I wasn't, so I'm, I do apologise. Uh, but what I was saying is I want to mix like the neutrals and the greens. And then I put this shade up here, this um, Undead Sheriff. And it pulls to like a beautiful like grey purple, which it doesn't look like that in the pan. Um, and I was a bit confused, so I did like a little swatch. And it does actually, so I haven't swatched the palette yet. 
it does actually look like a greyy purple it reminds me of that shade out of the sea talk palette from olden's eye which looks like neutral then pulls like a greyy purple it is um stunning i love it i love this i love these like unusual shades um and that is just absolutely stinking beautiful going through my uh, like crease i'm gonna use stagecoach mary which is like the second shade down in like the greens um again i think this is just gonna look so nice together um i'm so excited i'm so that shade has just totally thrown me because i was expecting more of like a brownie type of shade so i'm really intrigued how the other ones are gonna fall on the eye um, but yeah, just like I presume, like green and grey <laughs> together, honestly. Very grungy, yet very, very pretty. Yeah, I might just use a shade from like each row because that's the way I'm heading. So I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with Dead Man's Hands, just on the same brush, just to like, just to see how it kind of like, all works out together. Um, and I have no problems with Nomad's mats like blending together so I know that I'm just going to have absolutely no problems. This has now looked totally different to how I anticipated that it was going to look but it's fine, it's still very very beautiful, I'm loving it. I have no idea what shimmer to use though, no idea because they all look super super stunning. Oh, God this is going to be hard. I feel like... This one is really pretty. Should we swatch a couple? We'll just swatch a couple though. Um, I would say that. I'm going to swatch Tombstone. I haven't even put my fingers in these yet. So I'm very intrigued to see what the formula is like. Very smooth. Oh my god. Okay. That is definitely different to how anything that I've done before. I will swatch Ghost Train. Which looks almost like a little bit like duochrome eh? And I will swatch. I'm going to swatch Smoky Quartz because that one looks, again, like super, super pretty and sparkly. So let's swatch them. Okay, that is very neutral. That is stunning. Very, very smooth. Very smooth on the eye. Oh, look at that. They are beautiful. I have absolutely no idea which one I'm going to use though. Which one shall I use, guys? Which one shall I use? Shall I use Smoky Quartz? Shall I use a bit of gold? Mm, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Copper Penny. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to take it on my finger and just like I'm just going to tap that on. Wow. Okay, that is beautiful very very sparkly just like they are in the pan i don't know if i should put like something different maybe towards the inner corner just so i'm using as many shades as i possibly can i'm gonna go in with i don't know how to pronounce this it's this one um royal light and envy no idea, no idea what that means i'm gonna pick that up on a brush because i've got nails on and it's gonna be really hard to get right in there oh, that's so so pretty love it the lower lash line i want to keep it a little bit more neutral um so i'm gonna go in with bandit queen and then maybe blend it out i might blend it out with a little bit of ghost towering and see how that looks so keep this as close to the lower lash line as i possibly can don't nothing too dramatic because obviously we've got quite a dramatic eye on the lid i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this just to blend it out a little bit bring in some of that green as well so i'm gonna go and do the other lash line put some mascara on do my final touches and then i'll be back with the final look so this is the completed look that i came up with using the new nomad cosmetics ghost town usa palette let's get in and discuss the palette 
absolutely love, love, love the outer packaging. That is totally obvious. I am in love with this colour story. I'm in love with these shimmers. They are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to swatch the rest of them and just see how they show up. They're so beautiful, so sparkly, so smooth on the eye. I didn't have problems picking them up with my finger. I didn't have problems picking them up with my brush. The Nomad has always been a little bit hit and miss with their shimmers. Sometimes they're amazing. Sometimes they are really, really difficult. But I think this formula, I hope they stick to for the rest of their formula and the rest of their palettes because it is stunning. Um, the mattes, again, super easy to blend, super easy to work with, pigmented, blendable, buildable. I have never had a problems with Nomad's mattes before. I think they are absolutely amazing. They don't go into like a muddy mess if you over blend. So I think they're perfect for beginners. I love the layout of the palette. I love the theming of the palette. I love the fact that it came with like its own little um scratch card this time i just i just love nomad i cannot recommend nomad enough if you are dipping your toes into indie brands and you want to venture out and try some american indie brands i would always say start with nomad cosmetics because it is just absolutely amazing the guys behind this brand there's only two of them they're a family they have a little boy as well but they're amazing they're a great family and I just, like I said, can't recommend them enough. I hope that you love this look. Let me know if you pick this palette up and if you're going to be creating any looks with it, if you already have, or if you're just thinking about it, or if you're just around here to enjoy the video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.